Dealership News community. This is Sean Kelly, the CarBiz Coach, vlogger for Dealership News, and I'm coming at you out of the Car Motivator's office in St. Louis, Missouri. So check it out. I'm making this video to help you as an automotive professional, whether you're a frontline salesperson, a frontline desk manager, a general manager, or a, or a dealer principal, doesn't matter. I want to share ideas, wisdom, and thoughts and some of the mindsets that ultimately help my dealerships achieve amazing results to their people and technology through this amazing platform at Dealership News. And um, this is first of many vlogs. I'll be creating these either twice a month or monthly um, to help add value to your process and the things you guys do. So today, the uh, wisdom we're gonna be talking about or sharing with you guys, the information is, is when should we ask for the sale? Not how we should ask, but when. This is uh, often forgotten and, and a lot of salespeople, even at one dealership, do it at different times in the sale process. And I wanna share some information with you that'll help you decide when you believe the best time to do it is. Of course, I'll share my opinion as well. So there's three things we gotta factor before I give you the answer. There's three things that factor into when we should ask for the sale. And if you look at my TV in the background, there's a graph on this. And the green line is showing you the step that, it, which you probably can't read, but the step that you should be asking for the sale. So check this out. First is customer stress levels. We all have an amygdala in our brain. It's a little bean shaped thing that helps our body produce fight or flight hormones. The, the hormones that we need to survive a battle or run from something dangerous. You guys, when customer stress levels are high, okay, they're in fight or flight mode and it's we shouldn't be asking for the sale because they're not thinking clearly or logically, all right? When are customer stress levels highest? During the negotiations, when we first meet a customer, when we're asking them questions to show them the right car. Guys, those stress levels are highest then. When we're doing a walk around, they get excited, raises stress levels. But when are they calm and relaxed? During the demo ride, okay? There's two other factors, okay? Number two is when is rapport highest between the sales individual and the customer? Okay, think about that. When we're on the demo ride, we should be asking rapport building questions, trying to find common ground, you know, winning that customer's heart and mind so we can earn the right to ask for the sale at some point and sell them and, and help, you know, help them take a car home. So that happens on the demo ride, my friends. That's when we, we uh, you know, really win that customer over. Um, if you're not going on demo rides, if you're throwing them the keys and sending them on a test drive, you're missing out on that opportunity. The third and, and another very important critical factor when it comes to deciding when the best time to ask for the sale is the value in the vehicle. You guys, cars today are like three times more expensive than they were 15 or 20 years ago, right? And, and if you just throw someone the keys and they go on a test drive, then um, what's happening is that they're looking at a vehicle Maybe it's loaded up, it's got leather, but they don't know the difference. A lot of these like new technology features that these vehicles have aren't easy to see. They need a salesperson to demonstrate those things, okay? Um, and, and show them all the value that these vehicles have. Show them why the car is now 30 grand when 15, 20 years ago was only 8,000, okay? Someone's gotta show them that value. So that happens on the demo ride as well. When the customer is, is behind the wheel and they're stepping on the gas and they feel that mental ownership, that's when the value in the vehicle is highest. As soon as you bring them inside, guys, by the way, as soon as you bring them inside, they're gonna forget all that rapport, value, the stress goes up. Why? Have you ever walked into a room and you're like, what, what did I come in here looking for? What the heck, that just happened to me this morning. I was like looking for my jacket. And I was like, what? I was like, what did I come in this room looking for? Guys, when you walk through a door, you forget part of your short-term memory. So the rapport and the value gets forgotten when you bring them inside and start writing it up. Thus, I wanna share with you the best time to ask for the sale is on the demo ride. When you get back and you park the car, get their attention, ask for the sale. The value is the highest, the rapport is the highest, the stress is low. Don't do it after you bring them inside or before you even show them the car. Ask for the sale at the end of the demo drive. Guys, this is Sean Kelly, the CarBiz Coach, CEO of Car Motivators, now part of the Dealership News community.